All right, let's get started. So a couple comments about the microphone. I'm, I'm trying to get this dialed in. So I bought a new microphone and I was getting echo comments. I never got echo comments on the other one. So what I do know is there's a few times I had the fan on and I forgot it was on and it was blowing across this microphone. And people said, hey, you got a lot of static. And, and even I heard it when I replayed it. So I know not to do that. So I started using the new microphone when it came in. And I played around with the settings, but it still got what could be perceived as an echo. Doesn't bother me. I listen to it on different devices. I don't really hear the echo, but I hear that sound that people think is an echo. So some people said, no, don't change it, I like it. So it's, you know, the old adage, you can't please everybody. So all I'm, I'm going back to the non-echo microphone, and I want you guys to tell me in comments, but be polite, most of you are, 99% are polite on that. Okay, so done with talking about it. Uh, you're gonna hear sometimes on outside sound, it's noisy where I live, and this, microphone does pick up some of that outside sound. Okay, so what happened here on MISTI on 611? Well, we actually did slightly worse. This is the first we've been trending toward doing better than MicroStrategy, right? So MicroStrategy yesterday was down 2.78, our underlying, and we were down 2.87, but not bad, pretty, pretty darn close. We also put on a couple of contracts. So Coney, which I'm gonna do in this Misty Coney together so I don't have to render and upload so many individual ones. Um, these were the trades, right? And you guys all know, you know, buy a call, sell short a put, same quantity, same 1550, 719 expiration and then we follow 40, and this time we went 1605. So we look really good on our weeklies. This one's getting close with three trading days, but it's a dinky amount of contracts, and we have so many out of the money. So Coney is just killing it by winning their weeklies. Look at this, you know, we're trading at 1555 with three days to go. We got 1820s, we got 1850s, we got this big bulk, at 1800s, we've got 195, the next big old, biggest single entity besides the 1132 at 1715. This is the only one that's 3.18 and it's 40 contracts. All right, let's look at the synthetic, which is our 1550. And we actually made 36,000 because what because now that we're falling below uh what did i say this was we're real close to being below that number now yeah we're right at that number so it all just depends on when they put this on this is the close so we could have been down at 1545 or 1540 and they wrote this so when you're under, you tend to sell the put for more money than you do the call. Whereas up here, when we were much higher above it, it was the other way around. Um, so just giving you some of the data points, right? Education along the way. So not a lot changed here. This number, you know, picked up a tiny bit. So Misty's got some work to do to collect a big payout. I mean, I can see us getting the mid twos, but I don't see a three, four is probably out of the question. Again, anything can happen, but it's not trending that way yet. Okay, so let's take a look on share count. What else in June? So we come out here and sure enough, they put on 150,000 shares. Well, that is not as much as it had been because we're going from 7.7 7 to 7.8. But Misty is growing. I can remember that first payout with 
what was it? Um, 1.325 and we were getting ready to pay and it was like 990 or something right and it was a rush of shares in because I was saying hey this thing's gonna you know it's got eight dollars to pay ten dollars I think we were up as high as ten dollars when the share counter was at a million and I was like they can pay five and then it got down to eight, and there were people out on the internet spreading several. Oh, we're going to pay six, six fifty, and I was saying, nah, it's not going to happen. They want to release, they want to leave a reserve. It's brand new. They just don't want to pay all the money out right away. Remember, folks, remember, they have to pay out ninety percent of all capital by the end of the fiscal year. And I believe it's October 1st. It could be September 1, but I'm 90% sure it's October 1. You probably can find it on the EOMAX website. That's for all funds. So if they do this holding back, saving a little bit, right, that becomes a non-issue when they roll into the month or two before the fiscal year end. Because why? They have to pay tax on it. And Jay and others have said, they won't hold it to pay tax on it. It will get distributed. So if you look, and I mentioned this before, education, sometimes people get return of capital as opposed to distribution. And people always say, oh, that's part of the Bernie Madoff scam. Yeah, they're just giving you your money back and these are all going to go to zero. Total BS. Not what it means at all. It means that they had extra capital that they didn't pay out, so they're going to pay you now, but it wasn't necessarily earned this month. It was previously earned, and it gets shown as return of capital. You actually don't have to pay taxes, and it's usually a portion. It's never the whole payout. So look under some of the bigger and longer funds like Tesla that have been around and you'll see some of that in the last fiscal year. And it's in the fine print. I, you know, I, I looked at it two months ago, I don't remember, and it was down under taxation, blah, 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 and you go through. So it could happen, it's a non-issue right now. And so from a taxation standpoint, what is that? Well, they're giving you money back out of the fund, even though the fund earned it, and they're saying, okay, you don't have to pay taxes on it, but what it does is it lowers your cost basis. So let's make this up. You bought Misty for $27, and one day you sell it, and you sell it for $37, and they go, okay, you had a $10 gain. Well, actually, we gave you $0.50 cents one payment as a return of capital. So you said you paid 27. The reality is you paid 26.50. So it lowers your cost basis. And then if you go past a year, it's a long-term capital gain. Instead of a $10 capital gain, you had a 10.50 capital gain. But your capital gains taxes are much lower than ordinary income, right? If it's a short-term capital gain, then I believe they go right to your ordinary income. So there's a lot. I'm not a, a CPA. I know a lot about tax and, and all that, but I'm certainly not a licensed professional. So it's not tax advice. I'm just giving you my two cents with a lot of experience in this kind of stuff. Okay, let's finish this up. Um, Let's look. So we talked about the added. Another thing I'm noticing here with Coney, they've been selling more and more shares. And look, the last couple of times, whoops, that's May. May's not going to do you any good, Bruce. Okay. They've only put on, well, I take it back. Misty's done this. When I get to Coney, I'm going to point out how they're selling some shares and they're not putting trades on. So they're really building up cash. So real interesting dynamic here. Um, these guys didn't put much on, but they didn't bring in a million dollars. Uh, you know, this is small. This is a big number, but they put bigger trades on. This is, you know, less. Okay. Because sometimes it's, you, you mix up one for the other when you, when you spent time building these and analyzing them. All right. Let's go to weeklies and holdings. 
So how do we look now with all these contracts? So we're looking pretty good, peoples. Um, we are, this is a brand new one at 1605, 3.18%, right? We could easily go past that. But, but with the volatility, FOMC is going to, in the CPI today, we're probably getting close to that. Um, that's going to impact things one way or the other, even if, you know, we don't expect the FOMC to change rate. If they did and they lowered them, the markets would really fly. If he just says they're steady, not much happens. However, it's his guidance. It's what he says about when they might cut. And what was the CPI and do they explain it away or do they say, no, the CPI was high, therefore we're probably in our next meeting will do that. So I think September is two meetings out there. They're at about a six week interval. So the fact we're mid June, July, probably the beginning of August and then probably the second part of September. So that would be an interesting dynamic if it switched. Let us see. How are we doing on our weeklies? We're killing it. We really are killing it. We've captured 81.91, but look at that. Of course we have. This is 17% out, 15% out, 18% out. This is a big guy and it's almost 16%. So we should collect all our money here on Misty. And we really need it though, to be honest. You know, We haven't done much. Um, so I'll analyze that for you. One more thing in holdings. So our synthetic, because we're dropping and, and, and easily going to capture, again, for the most part, our weeklies, uh, that loses us some, if you will, cash value that we could sell it for. Yesterday, we could have rolled this for 8.1 million, I think, if we wanted to. Now it's 1.9, right? Here, here's some numbers. These are when they were in a 1540, so we haven't... We haven't got consistency here, but these are consistent. And this is really a 610 number, and this one is a 67 number. Okay, so you can see the numbers here, and I'm actually showing now 936, 81%. So I don't know if this is picking it up over on the weekly like it should oh no it has 81.91 cool i just don't then show you what the buyback is because i'm already doing it i i could okay but just knowing that you captured 81 percent is, is what's wondrous so in holdings we go through this goes down when we go down we look better on the weeklies but we lower our value of the uh, synthetic but all we have to do is go right back up so here's the share count 1.94 percent in there i don't see much else to go through this is the only one now you can tell we moved up they wrote this for 22 dollars during the day and it's 33 at the end so it says wherever they were it was lower right so they probably had a bigger gap 1605 and and then this thing moved up closer so it was probably in the lower 15s and you can figure out the time of day based on that but other than that one being negative that 88,000 they'd have to pay 133 it's a small amount but all these others 86 percent 93 91 and this is the big guy right that's the one uh, it's the 1800. All right, so let's go to our payouts and get through this because I got two to do together. All right, so what I wanted to tell you is this has come down from 409. We picked up a little bit more when we sold the 40 calls, right? This changed a little bit because we got the, the higher put than we did for buying the call. But altogether, we don't have any real money, right? This is a positive and this is a positive, only slightly. So we want to collect money. So I go out and, and I said this for you baseball fans. So we could roll the synthetic. Yesterday that was eight million, today it's two. But I said, is Missy, Misty targeting the hit for the cycle and its monthly distributions? All right, I want somebody in the comments to tell me, although I'm gonna end up explaining, if you know what I meant, it's a baseball term. 
So how could Misty hit for the cycle if it doesn't play baseball? Hmm, those baseball folks might relay. Okay, what is hit for the cycle? It's a pretty rare occurrence. Some of you probably know, most of you probably know what a no-hitter is, right? So pitchers, you know, a few times during the season, every other season, you know, people can throw a no-hitter. It's still a rare item. So is hitting for the cycle. So what kind of hit can you get in baseball? Well, you can get to first base, right? You can hit a double and get to second base. Where do you get to if you hit a triple? Well, third base. And if you hit a home run, how many bases do you account for? Four, right? First base, second base, third base, and home. So that's referred to in baseball as hitting for the cycle. Well, I can tell you, I think it's been done 332 times out of all the 100 years, and now there are 32 teams. There weren't 32 teams there, and they're playing, what, 160? I don't 162 game schedule? That's what I recall. Um, so it's still pretty rare. Because number one, why? Why is it rare? Well, first off, you got to get four hits. You're probably only getting four at bats. But if your team's scoring a lot of runs and the other pitcher sucks, you might get five. Okay? But triples are extremely hard. You know, a slow, heavier runner that maybe your catcher, he's big, he's heavy, he's a great catcher, got a strong arm, but he's no speedster, an easy eight hitter in your batting order. He's probably got one triple if he pays for, plays for 20 years because he can't get to third. He hits it off the wall, it ricochets, the outfielder gets it, but he's not fast enough to get to third. He's not a Mike Trout. Or Otani, who played for the Angels, now played for the Dodgers. By the way, both of those guys have hit for the cycle. And, and Otani's young, right? So you got to have power to hit a home run. you got to have speed enough to get a triple. Anybody can get a single, and a lot of guys can get a double. And your faster guys can get a triple that would have been a double. Okay. So sorry about that. I just thought it was funny. My sense of humor there. All right, so let me explain how it relates here. So I looked at this and I said, well, we paid $4, it's a home run. We paid $2, that's a double. And we paid $3, we got a triple. So what's left? A single, something in the $1 range. So that's my analogy. And I was trying in my mind to say, and, and I went out and said, okay, we got three more weeklies on the calendar to collect before 7-3 declaration. So we're getting around six, seven, eight million. What did we get on? I think we're around five. But let's say we do three more and we collect all that money. That's 15, 16 million. On this share count, that's over $2. So we start to have enough to pay close to $2. But that doesn't leave any room for margin, right? What if we only get 80% one week? Well. We could get some synthetic value, and so anything is possible. But I just love to try to project. So I honestly think if things go decent, we're probably in the mid twos again. This is way too early to do a prediction. But based on a little bit slower start, I realize it's you know three trading days, four trading days into a new start, right? We did declaration last Wednesday. So just my sense of humor, my thought process on that. So let's jump into the next one. Enough of, of all that. So again, tell me if you, anybody understood cycle before I explain the one, two, three, four. All right, let's do Coney. Coney, Coney, my friend. All right, so what did Coney do? Coney was down 2.25 and we won. We only went down 2.2. Good on you, Coney. But this is the one that I was talking about. So they moved up in share count. Why is that not? I get these where it must have to do that it's not in this one. And I'm not picking the right Coney. Okay. Now it should scroll. No, nope, it's not scrolling, folks. I don't know what's happening. But bottom line is we added some shares. I'll take you to holdings. 
and you'll see oh this is not I, I've already updated this I don't know why it's acting that way something is going on here and my Coney yeah they added 125 okay am I in June yes okay that was the problem maybe I was in May sorry okay so it went from 2850 to 28150 so it was only up a hundred thousand okay so that's what I need to put here all right let's continue my analogy so no trades on 10 and 11 and each day we added 700,000 here we added a hundred thousand here so this is where you're accounting in your account so we've picked up 17.8 additional million and no trade so that can be a positive and maybe they're saying hey we want to wait for this or we want to wait for that I'm not sure it's no longer about a payout Coney is actually looking better at Misty at this point just pointing out the obvious to you guys so let's go and look at our weekly we're still holding one fabulous weekly I've updated these I know so we're setting 14.66 percent out with three full trading days now understand we could drop 8% in coin value. We could move up it. All the Fed has to do is say something that scares the market or makes the, the market folks feel good. To me, it's nonsense that the Fed has that power and all the rest when all they're really doing is overseeing the printing of money. Their fiscal policy has sort of got us in this mess. My two cents, but... At the end of the day, it is what it is, and they, and they do have that power, and they do scare uh, hedge funds, and they do scare big institutional money who makes moves that affect us retail people. All right, so how do we look on these weeklies? Well, we look pretty darn good. We've got 7.1 million. Why? Because Coney's a more mature fund, a lot more shareholders, and a lot more cash rolls in. So they're synthetic so we're seven million misty's getting better i mean misty's up to five million right on their on average on their weeklies and sometimes misty makes a lot even though their share count let's say their share count is a half or a third they're and, and they're making 70 percent on their weeklies why is that because their implied volatility is lower on coney this is near the low part of the range than it is on MicroStrategy, right? So MicroStrategy is getting, you know, one, two percent because their IV is through the roof in general. It's, it's tamer now than it has been, but it's high relative to Coney. So you got certain dynamics impacting the collect and collection of um, cash along the way in the piggy bank. All right, so looking good, looking good on their let's look at holdings so the only negative here at all is the fact that they are fair value is yeah did i update that no i didn't i didn't drag down my 612 and then it will okay see how that magically does so i knew these should have been a lot closer so we have a four cent premium to a fair va nav fair value all right this is the only one that's dancing around on us we want a positive here many of these things we want a negative but we want our our calls to be higher than our puts so that means we're we're below the strike price that's why that once this is 260 this is zero right so this 76 million liability we're only you know 18 dollars or something what's our our trading is two 44 yeah that's the right let me just make sure yep so we're only 15.8 dollars away from making that other other number zero so that's the power and the change of these synthetics and then you your call would go up so all of a sudden we'd be winning on that money instead of losing on that money so we're losing 36 million if 
if we get there with, with time value and then we go up $15, this is zero. And the worst that could happen is this would be zero also right at 260. So you got zero and zero, but you sure don't have a $36 million loss. So even though I pointed out it gets sold very, very easy. Look at this. We sold this. Let's go see what we sold it for. We can buy it back for 40 cents. So we've captured 87%. And we'd have to pay 1 million on the 8 million that we collected. So we would have netted a little over 7 million. So that's super positive on Coney. Um, and I'm of the mind that if we get, well, it, it is a 280, and that's pretty far out. We're at 244. Yeah, I, I wouldn't try to take that off when it got down to three or 400,000. I'll let that go in as long, you know. That 280 is just a fantastic call that, that we've written. And what kind of, wouldn't we get $3 or something for it? Let me look back in time. Yeah, we got three dollars and twenty-five cents when we wrote that. So when it's forty cents, and it'll probably be if we go today and don't move a whole lot, it'll probably be twenty-eight cents. It'll decline quickly unless we start getting in the two sixties and two seventies. Okay, I think I've told you everything there. Let's look at payments. So we got this is the big win for us. We rolled and we took a bunch of cash and we got a win here after getting killed last month. This isn't as healthy as I'd like it, but they haven't sold any to add, but they've been collecting a lot of cash. I like where we are at $1.18 early in the month, right? We're losing on this too, but this is such a winner over the top of it that it's $1.18. So if we can write some calls and start, you know, now remember this 42 number already has all those calls that we sold. But again, I see very little chance at all of losing those. And if we did lose them, this is going to soar much higher. All right, so that's what I got for you. I don't have to do the additional, you know, how many weeks, and I don't see any baseball cycles. Sorry. We don't even have a three. Nobody's had a three except for Misty. Nobody's had a four except for Misty. So will Misty have its first one? I hope not. I got a lot of shares, but I think it'll get to twos. We shall see. Okay, hey, thanks all you guys. I got past my thousand. Thanks to everybody. Love all the positive comments. Let's keep this thing going. Okay, Bruce out. Hope the mic's not killing you.